Whew. We made it. 2020 is going to stack up to being one of those years that we will reference in the future as being a turning point for many, many things. From society changes to tech trends to industry-wide priority changes around remote working, we literally saw it all. But if 2020 taught us anything, it's that no amount of planning can protect us from unforeseen circumstances. And despite the nature of the year that we've all just experienced, one simple fact is perfectly clear. You need to be ready for anything. And by anything, I do mean anything. Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. My name is Nick Howell, AKA the Data Center Dude. And today I wanted to talk to you about 2020. The onset of a worldwide pandemic, TikTok taking over the internet, mail-in voting changing the course of history. Hell, 2020 had something for just about everything and everyone and each of which warrant their own post and video in the grand scheme of things. But it would be easy for me to get up here and talk to you about good old infrastructure and storage arrays and virtualization, but we're gonna stick to these three key things that I've personally identified that stood out to me throughout the course of 2020. I'd love to hear yours in the comments below. What were some of your big takeaways in tech from 2020? If you like these kinds of videos from me, be sure to subscribe to the channel throughout the year because we've got a whole new studio built. We're gonna be doing a lot of live streams, tech talks, workshops, build uh, streams, all kinds of good stuff right here. So make sure you're subscribed and get your notifications turned on. All right, on to the show. Today, I'm going to focus on enterprise tech and how I saw shifts in technology and priorities throughout the year. If you'd like to discuss any of these with me directly, I do live stream every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday over on Twitch. You can find links down in the description below, or you can also come join me in the Orbital Jigsaw Discord where me and a lot of colleagues discuss topics such as this every day as a community. And we can also help you build your next PC, pick out a new microphone, and even promote your own content amongst industry peers. Now, not since the advent of virtualization has our industry shifted in such a way that it has in the last few years. The rise of cloud computing has brought about change in literally every nook and cranny of how companies and their IT departments will do business going forward. From deploying infrastructure, to coding, to deploying new applications, to protecting petabytes instead of gigabytes. I mean, the last few years have led up to this pivotal year of digital transformation. Backups, project management, social media, even the cars we drive are all affected by this level of transformation. But as a general rule, I truly believe in looking back every year at the previous year because as the great Maya Angelou once said, if you don't know where you've come from, you don't know where you're going. So let's take a look back at 2020. I wanna share with you things that kept me up at night, excited for what the future may bring. Throughout the year, we saw massive advances in artificial intelligence, machine learning, and IoT device usage. From smart home using devices to open garage doors and start the laundry, to oil rigs and manufacturing facilities collecting and sending petabytes of data to the cloud for business modeling, and then using AI ML to process all of that data using high-powered apps, oftentimes cloud-based, uh, similar workflows, hardware, all built specifically for those kinds of workloads. The entire spectrum of every vertical is experiencing disruption from artificial intelligence. The AI market itself is expected to grow to $195 billion by 2025, reaching nearly $60 billion just in 2021. I suspect we're only seeing the early days and beginning stages of what AI is truly capable of. Self-driving vehicles, automated deliveries from Amazon, personal assistance, all things that I expect will make great leaps throughout 2021 and beyond. It is the top thing being invested in by the VC and startup community right now, as well as established brands and industries across every single vertical. The next major technology trend I'm seeing is quantum computing. It's a form of computing that takes advantage of quantum phenomena like superpositions and quantum entanglement. Quantum has also been involved over the last year in preventing the spread of the coronavirus as well as developing potential vaccines, thanks to its ability to easily query, monitor, analyze, and act on data, regardless of the source. Banking and finance is another field where quantum computing is finding a home with its ability to manage credit risk, but mostly for high frequency trading and fraud detection. So familiarize yourself and keep an eye out for more information on quantum computing, as I think it is the thing that will allow AI to go to the next level when it comes to complex processes and decision-making compared to the sort of if-then-else nature that it is today. And yes, I know I'm oversimplifying. 
Tying in very closely to AI and quantum computing, those conversations always lead to the next step, which is, what do we do with all that AI? <laughs> well, the answer from a lot of people is going to be a Skynet doomsday grandstanding answer, but personally, I think it's more likely that we'll get more of Tony Stark's Jarvis than Miles Dyson's Skynet. What is realistic is that we're about to see a whole new level of something known as RPA, or Robotic Process Automation. Think to yourself about all of the mundane tasks that we all do every day, week, month of the year, and how much time can be freed up by automating them or having some kind of assistant doing them for us. Whether it's your Roomba vacuuming the floors for you, Philips Hue adjusting the brightness and temperature of your lights, or Amazon Echo adjusting the thermostats on a schedule in the house. Now with all of that in mind, take it to the next level. What about a robot butler that could prepare complex meals from the kitchen for the whole family? What about a robot mechanic that could diagnose and repair your car? What about a robotic surgeon that could implant chips into our brains seamlessly to allow us to finally interface with computer? I'm kidding. Or am I? The point is, RPA is the next evolution of AI and where we're really going to see it start to interject into our personal lives in meaningful ways. For the most part, we likely don't even know or realize just how much we already interact with AI. I assure you, it's astounding and wonderful. It would be impossible to talk about 2020 without talking about cloud computing or just the cloud in general. Even at NetApp, I witnessed the leading storage array manufacturer that I know and love become a cloud company in the eyes of the industry and even Wall Street right underneath our noses. An overhaul of a large Silicon Valley company that manifested as part of a massive undertaking dating all the way back to 2014 when George Kurian first stood up at Insight and said digital transformation. But that's just a small portion of the change that happened throughout the year. Coming out of 2019, AWS made massive announcements at reInvent. Microsoft led uh, off the year with an amazing virtual event at Build. And Google spent nine weeks, yes, nine weeks, putting on their virtual event throughout the summer. Alongside Apple, the big three cloud providers are among the biggest company in history. And with good reason. They have overhauled and simplified the way that companies can do business and open up the possibilities to accomplish anything they can dream up in the cloud. Between AWS, Microsoft, Azure, and Google Cloud, any company can run any workload in any cloud. 2020 was the year that this all finally came to fruition, where companies big and small finally began believing that it was possible. And while it is still steeped in nuance of cost and performance, companies like NetApp and VMware and others are stepping up to provide a combination of overlays of their products and services to bring about real enterprise expectations of resilience, performance, and security in all cloud providers. This has been key, and frankly, in my opinion, one of the top inhibitors of enterprise IT organizations being more willing to explore and eventually adopt the cloud. I'm happy to say that the time is finally here and you can move your data center workloads to the cloud with confidence. Even though I still firmly believe in a well-designed bespoke data center or co-location strategy, having a combination of workloads strategically placed in the cloud to supplement those is key. Identifying which ones are best suited will be the most difficult upfront step, but an open mind and willingness to refactor those applications to effectively run in the cloud is what is paramount to success. So there you have it. Those are my top impactful tech things of 2020 that definitely had a, an effect on me personally. I'd love to hear about yours down in the comments below. My next video is going to be a retrospective on the last decade. I promise you will not want to miss that one, so be sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on that one. And look, it cannot be overstated that a lot happened throughout 2020 that made it a very difficult year to get through. A lot of which we're still experiencing and living through today. We cannot forget the hundreds of thousands of people we've lost in 2020, and I couldn't get through this without saying something about that. They will forever be remembered. As of the recording of this video here in the US, we are literally having a 9-11 every single day, and it is absolutely heartbreaking. Please stay safe, wear your masks if you must go out, and be kind to one another. We'll see you next time.